Hey gang, I was meeting up with my brother-in-law Dan, trail name Uncle Dan, for five days of backcountry, backpacking, and fly fishing in Yellowstone. This place is magical, though planes, trains, and automobiles to get there from Texas. But I made it, flying into West Yellowstone Airport. This place is gorgeous and not hot. I don't miss you, Texas. Time to go buy some flies. You can't beat a local fly shop. They know what flies work and they keep them in stock. Before I knew it though, I was entering the park. Even though I had a trailhead to get to, I couldn't help but stop at some of the touristy bits. But I've put those in a separate video for those that are interested. Coming soon. Heading to the trailhead. All right. You're never gonna see me with a bigger, heavier pack on my back. <laughs> a little bit of a road walk to the trailhead. This is far from my typical hike to hike trip, where I keep my pack pretty light and spartan. For this trip, we were backpacking to fish and hang out together in camp. So if you're a gear nerd like me, check out my pack explosion video for this trip. It's an ultralight base with a mountain of luxury items and fishing gear. Enjoy. Here's our home for the next couple days. 1A1. Yellowstone is very serious about its bears. You have to camp in designated campsites and you need a reservation. And they are each set up with separate tent and eating areas. All right, set up tents over there. And we got our cooking and hangout spot over here. Mosquitoes are pretty intense, but I treated everything for meth for and it seems to be working. Oh, you gotta come check this out. And that's our creek where we're going to be fishing for the next day or two. It's called Blacktail Deer Creek. A cold soaking lunch today. This would be cheeseburger. Time to go fishing. Here, bear, 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 bear. This is where you gotta keep your eyes open for the bear in the brush. Gorgeous here. Long day. Caught a, a bag of brookies. We're gonna fry them up for dinner. You don't realize how long you're standing out here in the sun and, until you look at your watch. Don't judge us, but we got music and cans of Pinot Grigio. <laughs> So everything was going great. Then the mosquito showed up. Little bastards. Morning, great night. No visitors. So plan for the day. So we're gonna give the mosquitoes and the flies a break from us. Tortured us yesterday. And so we're instead of fishing here on the Black Tail Deer Creek, we're gonna hike over to the Yellowstone River and fish there. But we're in no hurry. So slow start to the day, have breakfast and pack up and hit the trail. That view, that one, does not get old. All right, heading to Yellowstone River. Um, 
if you see my see me scratching my hiney it's because i had to go to the bathroom and those little bastards those mosquitoes made a beeline for my rear <laughs> i turned around there must have been 10 on one of my cheeks no joke going fishing Every corner, there's another surprise. Doesn't get prettier. So we're almost to the Yellowstone. It's right over there. So the next stop is the suspension bridge. That'll take us to the other side. This place is just stunning. I think you've heard me say that a few times. Here's the suspension bridge. Let's see if this Osprey leaves us alone. I don't know if you can see, but at the top of the suspension right there, can you see the mama and the babies? They're looking at us. Time to get wet. I would say I'm an intermediate fly fisherman at best. So this river was not easy for me. There's a good amount of brush on the shores you have to back cast around and the current is fierce and the rocks are extra slippery so you can't venture more than a foot or two in. But fish or no fish standing in a moving river all day does good things for the soul. At least that's what I tell myself when I'm not catching anything. Watch for permethrin and covering up. The mosquitoes and biting flies were insane. I've never experienced anything like this. And it didn't help that we were on the water and pretty much stationary all day and all night. It was a nice break filming these butterflies. The first flying bug, and that out to eat me alive. That 10% uh, chance of rain is right over my shoulder and there's thunder. So it's probably a good time to get out of the water. Slightly different story on the way up. <laughs> yep. I was too busy admiring the view on the way down to notice the price I was going to pay on the way up. Do not want to get up. There's mosquitoes out there. They love me. I don't love them. I got bites all over my hands and the palms everywhere. Well, goodbye campsite 1A1. We enjoyed you. But honestly, I'm not gonna miss your flies and your mosquitoes. So we headed back down to the river, this time with full packs. Unfortunately, the bugs sent word up ahead that we were coming. When you stay moving, the bugs can be tolerated, but if you're fishing and camping, they got you right where they want you. To the valley we go. So we are approaching our new home. Somewhere right up here. Another gorgeous spot. Cliffs are unreal. Here's our new home. Somehow, mosquitoes are even worse here. Thank God those are big antlers. The head was still on it five, four years ago. There's juniper trees all over Yellowstone. And they're, uh, they're berries. Smell just like you expect them to smell if you drink gin. Going fishing. So my first rule of fishing is if you can't catch a fish, stop and have a snack. 
I know they're all hiding in there somewhere, but they don't want my bait, my flies, I don't like them. The weather was nothing but consistent as the thunder rolled in late afternoon again, sending us back to our campsite. So the buffaloes like to make their own little dirt beds and just chill in them. So here's a buffalo dirt bed. I'm sure there's a fancy word for it, but dirt bed will have to work. Right there, it's pouring. And then over here in front of us, barely a sprinkle. You can hear that. Prettiest rain shower I've ever seen. We weren't allowed campfires in the spot, so no night video for you. We drained what was left of the scotch, cursed at the mosquitoes all night, and then hit the sheets. Uneventful though, it was not. Some ghost stories from last night. We thought we smelled a, a bear, kind of stinky supposedly, but turned out just to be some dank shoes. <laughs> and then the craziest part is in the middle of the night, we saw this orb just flash from behind a tree. I'm pretty sure it was St. Elmo's fire, but uh, pretty freaky, especially when you're at a campsite that's not allowed a fire and you're just sitting there in the dark, pitch dark. Anyways, we're off early this morning because these mosquitoes, won. they're intense. Time to pay the price for all of my luxury items. Uphill we went. On our way out. The bugs won. I must have had at least 50 bites on each ankle alone. I kid you not. So new plan. We headed to the car and drove to a completely different part of the park. Made it. It was a good call. So, new part of the park. This is Soda Butte Creek. Is that right, Dan? Yep. Pretty cool. A whole completely different experience. Pay close attention. You might see a small flying object. Got away. It kind of was so small, I didn't even have beef with my hook. Took him for a flight. Sorry, buddy. Well, not many fish. Only caught two. The little guy's my favorite spot. Prettiest. You have to earn your fishing spot here. Everything's a hike. So, Soda Butte was awesome. As peaceful a spot as it gets. We spent the night in Silvergate, in what I can only describe as a repurposed saloon, with the rooms upstairs. The only thing missing was Swearingen and Trixie. No complaints though. A bed and no mosquitoes. What a beautiful spot. It's time to hit the road. Right now in the far northeast corner, actually outside of the park. I have to go through the park and make it all the way to West Yellowstone and catch a little plane back home. Loved you, Yellowstone. See you soon.